Okay, this is uh, part two to my uh, homemade full mass fresh respirator. And uh, as you can see, I've uh, epoxied these pieces because this was open here. And this piece actually, what it does is it actually snaps onto that piece. And then there's a, another filter like this. goes in that way and then this cover right here snaps over so what I did was these are covers uh, off of uh, fiberglass resin bottles and I cut out uh, these pieces about a quarter inch bigger than the hole and then uh, I JB welded those in I love JB weld it's probably one of the few products I'll ever endorse this is quick weld quick weld works real good Excellent if there's not a lot of pressure behind it. Sets up real fast, 10-15 minutes, and it's ready to be used. But, if you want something to be really solid, I mean, I have fixed engine heads and cracked blocks with JB Weld. But you got to use the regular JB Weld, the stuff that takes 24 to 48 hours to dry. As I said, the, J, the Quick Weld, it doesn't hold up as well. It's not as, uh, I don't know, sticky or <laughs> solid or whatever. Um, if you mix the two of them up, and put them next to each other, and let them harden, and you drill through them, the quick weld drills real easy. The regular JB weld, it's a tough son of a bitch. It's almost like drilling through steel. So if you want to do something real tough, but it takes a while for it to set up, get the regular JB weld. But like I said, this is the quick weld. I love this stuff. And uh, then I'm going to drill out that hole in the center to fit those little white plastic elbows that I have and like I said then this is going to sit on top of this like so and then that part right there goes into the mask and that way it will be enclosed the bar will come out here go back and I'm going to have it back over my back shoulder I don't want it hanging down in front of me to get in the way and the hoses will go over my back and then I'm going to use a little clip like this and I'm going to put the T in there and the hoses are going to come out of that and that's going to clip onto my back of my belt to my back keep the hoses from getting all over the place and uh, originally I was going to use these because they come off my regular respirator which isn't a full mask it's just the nose and mouth mask but the motherfuckers yeah I said it motherfuckers they make the hole bigger than what than what this one is the hole size on this one is bigger so it don't fit on to the 3M. See how much smaller the hole is? Yeah, they do that shit on purpose. That's so you have to buy their shit. Well, guess what? When I get done with this product, I'm going to throw this motherfucker away. Yeah, if you don't like my language, don't watch my videos. That just pisses me off. And then I just mixed up some JD wheel with a screwdriver. And I applied it all the way around. And I'm also going to put a little coat on the inside of this on the other side let that harden up for a couple hours drill out the center hole from here and then I'm gonna mount my barb in there and I'm gonna put some more JB weld on the barb and glue that on and like I said then that snaps on to that piece right there and that way when I get this onto the mask it'll be solid unit and only air can go through it no dust or nothing else and the filters are nice in there because uh, it'll help a little bit. I've got the filters on the uh, compressor already, so that helps a lot. But uh, that's basically what I use. Like I said, I just cut out these are off of uh, one gallon resin bottles. <laughs> that's what I use to make these pieces. And like I said, they're just cut just about a quarter inch bigger than this hole. And I put them on the inside because this little guy's got a little lip on the outside, so it wouldn't, wouldn't glue as well, so I put him on the inside, which is, it don't make a difference. Uh, that's the end of this. this, is part two, and when I get her back assembled, I'll throw another video at you. Say goodnight, Mel. Goodnight, Mel.